Hey guys, John here with Vapor Honing Technologies today. I want to talk to you about inhibiting the cylinder walls, which are ferrous material, from rusting if you vapor blast for a customer and you're going to send those parts back to the customer. You don't want them showing up rusty and corroded after you've done this beautiful finishing work. Um, so what I like to do, take a roll of paper towels, tear you one off, and use a good old can of WD-40 that we have here. Lightly spray your rag and you're going to take this and you're going to wipe the inside of the cylinder walls. And that is how you protect these cylinders from rusting. And you can even wipe the top edge of the cylinder here so that it doesn't rust. And of course, like I say, wipe all the way down in the cylinder wall. Um, each cylinder, of course, and one spray on your paper towel is normally going to allow you to do all of the cylinders and get a nice good coating um, so that these things do not rust. And you're going to notice you may see a little smudging on the aluminum, but hey, that stuff will wipe right off for the customer once he gets it back. And he's going to be happier with you that way than sending him a set of rusty cylinders back. Now to normally inhibit against rust in a vapor hone system, you can use a rust inhibitor, which I do recommend using in the water. However, a lot of times, some of these steel parts can still rust. Um, even after you've coated the part, you know, while you're wet blasting, and uh, you've rinsed it off with rust inhibitor, or you've dipped it in a dip tank with inhibitor, and a lot of times, you know, it can still rust, so I always use the WD-40 method to wipe down any ferrous metals. Even if you have a cylinder head with exhaust studs on it, you can wipe those down if you want. Um, if you have a set of uh, engine cases with the cylinder studs still on it, you can wipe those down. Uh, that's what I recommend to really, really give you some extra protection because you never know how long the customer is going to let this part set on the shelf before it's being built. And uh, you don't want this thing rusting on him and uh, that's certainly a good way to inhibit the rust. So hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And if you like what you saw today, please subscribe to the YouTube channel for weekly updates. Follow us on Instagram and like the Facebook page for further updates and information. And by all means, give us a call or shoot us an email if you have questions. Thanks for watching.